Plain Wargrave, we need to get somewhere quick. All aboard the wagon, folks. This has been a long anticipated episode and I'm glad to bring it to you. Getting straight into things with the movement. Wagons have a maximum movement range of 12. So on roads and bridges, they will cost one movement tile. On planes, they cost a total of two. So uh, yeah, you want to be going on the roads and bridges on this one. And the rest of the tiles are inaccessible to wagons. Moving straight on to attacking wise. Of course, wagons can't attack. It would be pretty cool if they did, but they can't. So we're just going to look at the damage and how it defends. These units here, so the Spearman, Mage, Giant, Cavalry, Trebuchet, Dragons, Warship and Commanders will all deal 50% or more damage. Of these included units, Giants, Trebuchets and Dragons will always destroy them with critical hits. Warship still 98% on a critical so that can go either down to 93 or it will go over 100. So if you want that 100% critical hit you want to be going with any of these three. They're also amazingly cheap. If you look at the big list here for only 300 gold you are getting an amazing unit in comparison to you know the cost. So for what you can use them for they are one of the most price efficient units in Wargroove by a long distance. Oh, by the way, here was a love heart I made. You know, because I love the wagon. In regards to strategy, as a non-attacking unit, wagons are limited in regards to strategies, but a couple decent ones still exist. The first of these is blocking. Oftentimes people forget that despite being a mobile unit, wagons can be incredibly productive as an immobile defense in terms of emergency. So as you can see here, we've got these units which could be pushing forward into God knows where they're going. But the ability to soak up at least one or two attacks means that if we line up the wagons like this, they simply act as a block. And by working with the environment, you know, you can really block off zones. Also, the fact that wagons cannot attack means that instead of using an attacking unit to do this, you can use a wagon, lose it or have damage dealt to it and then still attack in the next round. Now, one of the issues that I see with people using wagons is they don't use them effectively. So here what we have is a Spearman whose maximum movement range is 3 here. So the wagon is as far away as it can be from the Spearman with the Spearman still being able to access it. That means that when we load them we're able to move them the maximum movement range before dropping them off. The effective movement range which a wagon uses in one turn is 12 plus 2 plus the walking distance of a transported unit. So the Spearman here is able to move 17 tiles in total. Of course it won't be able to attack in the same round, but ensuring you maximise your wagon range can give you an edge over players who fail to do so. Because I see often how we've got the, the setup now of these two. People will put the wagons all the way back and then put the unit in and it's a waste of three or four spaces really. So uh, anyway, another incredibly effective use of wagons is early capturing. Now as you can see here, the Spearman of course will not be able to reach the, uh, the, the building in question by, by popping him in here. You set him up so in the next round he can capture it. We take it over and then we've got that and then we've got the gold coming in. Now of course this is only just a really small example just to kind of give you the context of it. But I see so much online people do not use the wagons to capture towers. They just send out soldiers to go and do it. And it might be only be two or 300 gold a couple of rounds earlier than your opponents. But it can make a massive difference. So I really emphasize how crucial this is to do. The last aspect is damage soaking this is a great strategy to use your wagons here you see we have two spearmen that can attack valder he's only on 20 percent health so either of these two would be able to take him down now what you can do is basically use the wagons to evacuate him completely out of there and at this point he's completely safe now this is great if you have units that are on the edge of death and you want to protect them i mean obviously the best example of this is the commander loading them into a wagon letting it take the hit or just running away straight away is an incredibly effective use of the wagons. You know, running away is okay sometimes. Of course, you can do this in the reverse, which would literally just be like this. So you'd load them in, bring them all the way back, and then you can drop them into attack. You know, obviously that's that's fairly self-explanatory. They're quite a good way of launching your commanders into areas. And they also can be used, I've won a game once before by using a commander and a wagon rushing on a stronghold and winning. But you know, just the relationship between your wagon and your commander can be incredibly effective. 
Now, in regards to issues, I mean, there really isn't any issues to this unit. You know, yes, you can yes you can say that, oh, well, they can't attack, but really, they're not supposed to. They function incredibly well. They're incredibly overpowered for what they are and for what they cost. So, you know, if you had to say to me, well, what's an issue you have with them? I can't really have one. They're incredibly strong. They can take hits. So, you know, literally, I do... I love the wagons. So, anyway, guys, this was a relatively short one. There isn't much really to do with the wagons. You know, they're incredibly functional and they are an essential part of a Wargroove attack. If you don't use wagons already, go out and use them. They're amazing. And that's all I have to say, really. They're probably the pound by pound one of the best units in this game. So, anyway, guys, if you did enjoy this guide and you found it useful, please be sure to let me know down in the comments. Leave your feedback, suggestions, what you want to see next. From this point, I'm not sure which units I'm going to do next. If you've got any other ideas on anything to do with the channel, be sure to let me know. My name is Tom, also known as the XV Project. Peace out.